Hi, I'm Matthew Ashley and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the Euro, and the pair slipped amid volatility stemming from the ECB's minimum bid rate decision. Whilst the rate was held steady at 0%, subsequent remarks by the ECB's Mario Draghi sent the Euro plunging. Specifically, Draghi signalled his openness to potential rate cuts in the future, but also remained confident that the stimulus would have an effect soon. Ultimately, the remarks did see the pair close down around the 1 spot 11.52 mark. As the week ends, however, the euro will be looking for some support, which could be provided by the EU Final Services PMI results. Turning to the cable now, and whilst the pair was initially looking to make a solid recovery, early gains were eroded later in the session. Consequently, the cable closed only fractionally higher around the 1 spot 44.18 mark. The loss of momentum in the second half of the session was largely due to a contraction in the UK construction PMI result to 51.2. However, as the week begins to wind down, the pair could make some solid recovery if the UK services PMI come in above target at 52.5. Finally, the dollar yen closed the last session down around the 108 spot 85 mark in the wake of stronger Japanese results. Specifically, Japan saw its average cash earnings increase by 0.9% year-on-year, which bolstered the already bullish Japanese yen. Ultimately, even improvements in the US employment data were unable to keep the care buoyant. Moving forward, a number of key US results are due out shortly, which could see the pair find some support before the trading week comes to a close. Well, that's all I have for you today. This has been Matthew Ashley with Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update.